Hello, I'm Emily, and today I'm going to be making a new friend. You know what I love most about fleece? Besides the fact that it's soft, you don't have to iron it. This project's going to be a lot easier than the D20 bag. It only has three pieces. Once I smooth out my felt, I take my meeple pattern, and I'm going to pin them down. I really shouldn't have used cardstock for this pattern. It makes things more difficult. Or printed all this gray. It's time to free my friend from the confines of his fabric prison. These scissors are for cutting fabric only. The only other piece we now need is the side. Now, I need 62 inches for the side, and since this is an older piece of fabric that I had, a wee bit short, so the side is going to have to be two pieces, which is not ideal, but this is just for me, so it'll work. My friend's going to be a little Frankenstein-y. I feel two and a half inches is a good length, I mean width, so we'll go with that for the side of my friend. For the me pillow, it doesn't really matter what color thread you use because if you do it right it's all going to be on the inside but just because we have it we're going to use a white Normally you would have to worry about the right side of the fabric, but this fabric has no wrong sides. The only thing we really have to worry about with this is that our little flaps on our side sides are in the inside sides. Meeple armpits, like human armpits, are tricky and require special attention. I also like to mark where the shoulder meets the head. <clears throat> Meeples don't have a neck. 
That way I know when I'm sewing, I need to make an abrupt turn. I start with the crotch and then sew around. That way after I get all the sides put together and turned inside right, there's an opening left here so I can stuff him. Coming up to the armpit, uh, I have to keep in mind where that is so I can get it crisp. Same with the shoulder. Now that I have side one together and depinned, it's time to connect side two. Like I said before, there isn't really a right side and a wrong side to this fabric. Normally I would now make sure right side or the outside is up or inside. Does that make any sense? I'm putting the two pieces together, I like to start with center of the head center of the head pan it down head shoulders knees and toes maples don't have knees and toes I remember the tag I've finished sewing and now it's time to begin flipping. I'm now going to put the inside in and the outside out. It's like a little hand puppet.
and then commence with the stuffing. Make sure you mush it up into his head and mush it up into his arms. Really move that stuffing around and fill him out. You don't want a lopsided meat pillow. I like to feel around to see if he's a little underplumped anywhere. Skip leg day. Now the only thing I have left to do is to tuck my loose ends inside, get a needle and thread, hand sew this shut, and I have a brand new friend to give me all the hugs that I want. You were born in Carcassonne. That's neat. Yeah, we can play Five Tribes after this. I love that game. Monastery!